Hey, everybody. I hope you are having a great week. Uh, this is Dr. Jeremy here with my good friend, Terry. Uh, and I wanted Terry to join us today and, and just share a little bit about his story. He's got an amazing story, amazing response to our BioMS uh, curcumin drops. And, um, you know, Terry is is kind of like a local celebrity here uh, in, in Stockton. Uh, he works at our local supermarket and uh, he's always got a smile on his face. Uh, he always greets you. He always asks how you're doing. He remembers, uh, you know, what's going on in your life. And he asks about you and your family and your kids. Um, the adults love him. The kids love him. You know, my my daughter, um, she'll hunt him down and make sure she gives him a hug every time, you know, we're at the store. And uh, in, in fact, you know, she looks for he's got this awesome little red scooter that he drives uh, to work often. And uh, and if it's out front, she knows that he's in the store somewhere. Right. And she's going to she's going to hunt him down before she gets out of the store. Um, but but anyway, um, we were talking. Uh, I was probably been about eight months ago that. Um, I actually saw Terry outside of work. We were at, at a local gas station and uh, and I saw him and he wasn't wasn't feeling his jovial self that day um, due to just some chronic uh, aches and pains. And so, um, Terry, I'm just going to let you share kind of what happened that day and and um, how we introduced the drops and kind of kind of take us from there. Wow, what an intro. Um, <laughs> yeah, and and that's the thing about it. It's it's very often that you can look at me and see that, wow, eh, Terry's not looking like he's feeling good. And it was one of those days. And uh, it was hot, and there was a big parade coming up that uh, I was going to be Grand Marshal in. And uh, it kind of was a really special big deal, and I was in severe pain. <clears throat> And we were standing in line at the convenience store and we started talking. And anyway, we, we came to the point that I was in pain. So uh, Doc said, well, here, let me um, let me give you something to try it. He had told me about it before. And quite frankly, I was really interested, but uh, I work for Woods. And it sounded a little on the expensive side for me. And uh, so he gave it. He said, here, try this. I said, well, what do I owe you? He says, Terry, nothing. He says, if it works for you. Tell people. I said, OK. And so I did these drops as he instructed the night before. And uh, then I did it that morning too. So I kind of doubled dose from the get go. And uh, that next morning I was up chipper fry. And uh, Sarah's one of the ladies that, that document, get everybody going and everything in the parade, Doc's wife. And uh, I went up to her and I said, how long does this stuff usually take before you notice it? She said about, oh, 30, 45 minutes. And I think she was talking from when you've already been on it and it should probably hit about then. Well, 30 years of pain were gone in four hours. Wow. So, and, and the thing about it is I'm a naysayer and I, I'm sitting in the old chair where you got two pillows tied together and the bed spread over it and it's older <laughs> than me. But you love the chair because it fits your body. But in reality, it's killing you. Yes. I'm sitting in that. And I'm going, this is comfortable. I'm not moving and trying to get adjusted. And um, that's when I became a believer. You actually enjoyed the, what you were afraid was going to be well, a and, painful day. And, well, and the thing about it is Doc knows me personally. And he knows that I'm not good with, even though I'm perfectly good with routines at work, I'm not good with the routines at home. <laughs> And uh, so staying on a medicine routine is tough for me. But once I knew that this worked, the routine was a breeze because I know that it works. So every morning I was on it, I would tell everybody and they'd be, oh, you're kidding. I, I, are you sure? And then I'd tell them the price and I'd say, look, after I've done it and I thought about it, how much money have I spent on things that did not work right. for the pain? Exactly. And man, that goes into the hundreds of thousands of dollars Absolutely. over a lifetime. Absolutely. And, you know, I shared with you that, you know, I've used curcumin and turmeric uh, products for, you know, probably uh, at least 25 years uh, personally with patients. And uh, a lot of them out there on the market, I've probably tried, you know, dozens of different versions, just they don't even get into the bloodstream, you know, at levels that can do you any good. And so... Um, uh, I, I was also very skeptical when I heard about this uh, technology. And so, um, but I tried it and and shared it. My first uh, uh, guinea pig, right, was my mama. Uh, and she had a lot of chronic pain that I hated to see her in on a daily sure. basis. And so she 
had some pretty dynamic changes pretty quickly. And I knew I had my hands on something special there. Um, but, you know, your pain is is probably a little uh, more advanced than your typical weekend warrior aches and pains. So you've had some pretty, pretty significant injuries uh, over the years that have led to, to some well, of this. Well, we'll try to keep it as short as possible and start from the beginning. Six years old, broke my neck. Uh, was tossed out of a swing, landed on my head in a parking lot, over a 14-foot fence. So that kind of gives you the trajectory there. Wow. Woke up in a halo in the hospital. Um, and then from there on, neck brace and uh, could hold my head up again. That's why if you see me and you notice that I really can't get around to a certain look, it's because my body won't let me. Yeah. And, uh, and I had to live with that from six years old on. And I get out of that in about a year. And uh, I'm the baby boy out of a bunch of girls. And uh, dad's like, this kid needs to live. So let's get him a bicycle for his birthday. So they do. And about two months later, I get run over by a truck on the bicycle. <laughs> and we mean like, uh, you know, six ton truck. Holy cow. The only thing that saved my life was the bicycle fell on top of me and spread out the weight of the truck from the frame of the bicycle. But it took my right leg and snapped the femur like a green twig and put it up here on my shoulder. Oh my gosh. So that was at seven. <laughs> this is a great start. <laughs> <laughs> and then they did back what they do in the seventies and they cast you up and everything. And about six months later, they take an x-ray and they cut the cast off because you're a kid and your bones are grown. Well, I believe it's what they called a ghost fracture. Mm -hmm that they did not catch and see it. So they took the cast off and they said, let him go. He's seven years old. Let him go. It's right before the legs about to start weathering right. from the cast. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Right. And, and my growth spurt, it's starting to slow down now. And so they wanted to get it off actually. Mm -hmm. And so they did. And I'm out at the park with my sisters and we had a game again. I got to stay away from swings. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put your upper body in one swing and your feet in the other and you swing sideways. And when you get scared, you say, man, overboard, and they're supposed to stop you. Well, my sister jumped up and landed on my legs and broke my leg again. Oh, no, because it wasn't completely healed. Right. And they didn't know it. They were kids. So right. I crawled over the park bench and passed out. <laughs> then I woke up in the backseat of a Monte Carlo going to the hospital. This time they put me in a body cast. Down broke both legs all the way up to here Holy cow. for a year. So at that time, now the leg has weathered and, and shrunk. So sure. it was it was probably two or three inches shorter. Mm. It was it was a big growth spurt that I was in at that time. Oh, it's bad timing. Yeah, and I didn't know all this then, of course, and right. I, you know, that I know was a man. But uh, anyway, so once that was off, they said, hey, you know, he's going to have to go through six months of therapy. And my dad's like, no, he's been in these hospitals and casts and three years almost and that's about true how long it had been and he decided that uh he'll do the physical therapy so every morning before we went to work we walked up and down steps we walked on the shores of michigan on the rocks so i could climb and i always learned from that point on i don't walk with my hands in my pockets in case i fall mm -hmm. i mean i was learning that then mm -hmm. and, and still this day you'll never see me walking with my hands in my pocket makes sense crazy anyway so I can go off a tangent, but <laughs> a lot of damage early on, not even talking about the stuff that I did in construction work, tree work. Um, always hard labor because that's what I love to do, but I always kept these jobs that might be a chance of mine not come home that night. Mm -hmm. uh, that was just kind of the way that, that I, I lived back then and loved every minute of it, and I needed nothing. It's funny, I was talking with someone today and I was waiting with the cards like I do patiently. He said, go ahead. And I said, oh, no, no. They pay me by the hour. She looked at me and she said, well, then why do you walk so fast, Harry? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Couldn't deny that one. She got me there. Well, tell them, uh, and then I know there's been, uh, there's a lot of significant injuries that you didn't touch on, but we, we'd probably be here all day if we were right. through all of it. Yes. But, uh, but needless to say, there's uh, some significant reasons that, uh, that you have had chronic pain. Um, and uh, what's amazing, I think, about these drops is something that's one, natural. Uh, Most definitely. Two, that's affordable. Three, that's not going to have all of the nasty side effects that come with chronic 
ibuprofen use or uh, Tylenol use or prescription medication. And I was that ibuprofen guy. Um, I had to stop taking it because I was taking 800 milligrams three times a day, every single day. Wow. And with, I drink alcohol in the evenings with that in the stomach and my diet of spicy food and everything. This Take is easy control. today. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I had that problem. I mean, I would have to, I would do that all day and then I'd have to take antacids. And then now they pulled off the market because it caused cancer. Right. See, right. there you go. So, <laughs> and I don't even know if we got to this, but I take this orally by the throat. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, all my life, my worst fear has always been something to do with my throat. And the reason being is every activity that I've done has had grunting involved in it mm -hmm. and I could always feel the strength in my throat mm -hmm. straining yeah that, that I thought if anything's ever going to go wrong it might be that yeah so when I take these drops I have no clue if there's anything wrong or going to be right but it, my little mind and the peace of mind says this stuff that I know works for the rest of my body is going down my throat and it's correctly and, and directly yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I like that yeah and um uh, so tell me, uh, you had already started seeing relief, uh, and then we talked about your little fur baby at home, um, and tell them a little bit about that. Well, again, the know the lifestyle where Terry come wrecked from is that God knew that if he was going to be the man that he is today, he had to have a reason to come home. <laughs> so, Absolutely. So, so he gave me mouse, and she's a long-haired chihuahua, and um, she's been with me through it all, and... Uh, Ever since she was three months old, she's 10 now, and uh, she got fixed when she was little. So as she got older, she gained weight. And I fed her like I loved her, and she became a big chihuahua. And uh, But she was that athletic and everything with me. And then one day, we got caught in a rainstorm. And by the time we got to the house, we were both soaking wet. And I had new linoleum floors in the kitchen. As we were both going to the bathroom across the kitchen to get a towel, we both slipped and fell. Oh, no. So I, I cracked my knee, and she cracked her knee. So now we both have the same knee. <laughs> That's injured. <laughs> we're, we're both walking around the house like this for a week. Oh, and, no. uh, yeah, so and it, was, it was an old injury. She was just a baby when that happened. But now it's come back to haunt her. And... Uh, and, well, it does it now, but it, it it was in the past. Anyway, so I'm taking these drops, and I'm probably, I don't know, a month into it. And I'm watching Mouse trying to get in her chair, and she can't. And I've got steps, so she can, but she still can't. And uh, I picked up the phone, and I called Doc. And I said, hey, can, can Mouse take this too? And I don't think you were too sure. But you said, well, yeah, try it and give her a couple drops. So from that day on, Mouse gets two drops in her dog food of a morning before I go to work every other day. Uh -huh. She's lost weight. She's chasing squirrels again. <laughs> she's getting on the couch. Now. And and she's just like me. She still has a slight limp, but it's not prohibiting her. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We, all, we all know it's still there and it's going to be there, but it's functional. Yeah. I can still tell you that the storm's coming in three hours. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Right, yeah. And it's going to hurt why that's happening. Uh -huh. We had a big, bad, um, low pressure that came through a couple of weeks ago. And I had dosed up because I knew that we were going to have storms and I knew I was going to be busy. And I thought that I was going to go home and take a third. I didn't have to. But it hurt bad that day. But it leveled out. Yeah. Here's going to be a story that shocked me. And, and when I seen you, I was prone to pull you aside and tell you. I was over some friends during the basketball playoffs and everything. They didn't know it, but come to find out they had COVID. They didn't know it, but they knew they were sick. And they told me, Terry, we're sick. They were down in a man cave, down in the basement, enclosed area. And, uh, I'm like, nah, I ain't worried about it. And these, these are my people. We always have, hang out, and yeah. none of us really pass anything on. They got kids, all this and that. Well, that was a Friday night. Sunday was Easter, and I woke up with it. Oh, no. 
uh, and I could feel it in my throat. Here we go back to the throat. And, uh -huh. and when Terry feels anything in the throat, he's on red alert. Yeah. And uh, so I really didn't know what to do. So I drank a cup of coffee and that hurt. So I went straight to the curcumin and I like did three or four doses. I like triple dosed up. Yeah. And then for some reason, I don't know why, because I don't do it, I took a multivitamin uh -huh. and I took two Tylenol PMs. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, at about 11, I checked my temperature, 109. Oh, my goodness. 109. So I just kept drinking coffee, hot coffee, until finally I fell asleep. I fell asleep at 11, 30-ish. I woke up about 5, 5.15, and I was amazed. I was amazed I fell asleep for one thing. I was amazed I woke up, and I'm feeling decent. So I plopped the temperature thing in. 98.8. Whoa. And right there I said, now, I don't think that was the multivitamin. <laughs> Not likely. Okay. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Tylenol PM. Might have helped with breaking the fever. But the last time that I woke up feeling like this, it was the flu before COVID, mm -hmm. and it almost killed me. I mm -hmm. knew that if the fever didn't break that day, I probably wouldn't get out of bed the next time. I was so sick that all I could do was get out of bed, go to a hot shower, not even dry off and go back to bed, back to bed. and wake up in the sweat pile. Mm -hmm. And we all know what it feels like when a fever breaks. Yeah. It's like, holy God. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it was that moment in four or five hours. Four or five hours. Wow. I'm a naysayer when it comes to injuring my body and being sick. And I could tell that I was fixing to take a bad journey and it didn't happen. That was heading heading south quick, right? Yep. I, I just awesome. knew it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you know, I'm excited that uh, this has made such a big difference in your life uh, and in so many people's lives. I, I think that people can relate to, to your journey. Um, and it just makes it real when you see somebody that has had the history that you've had uh, with chronic pain. Uh, and it's exciting that something can offer hope um, to somebody dealing with that. Because, Well, well yeah, and, and that's the thing about it is um, I work with people so much, the young, the elderly, the middle aged, uh, the broke guy that, that is a mechanic all of his life and can't hardly open his hand from a fist. And you see that and you say, hey, dude, I know of something that can help you. So I feel obligated to tell them. Yeah, I, I really do. Yeah, because it's kind of like if you walk in my store and there's a great sale. I'm going to tell you about the sale yeah. because I don't want you to miss it. And and that's. That's something like get into a lot that, that we all need to be a little more of that we we should take time and notice each other's pain maybe pay attention yeah. let's listen yeah. yeah yeah and you're great at that um so yeah it's exciting to be able to offer hope to people that uh that probably at times feel hopeless or feel like sure. they they they've lost that part of their life they've lost that ability to stay active and, and well uh, well doc we know here's the thing about it. the most healthiest strongest mind person is going to get depressed and be broken maybe with chronic pain, mm -hmm. care how strong you are, how many tough you are. Mm -hmm. Chronic pain is terrible. Wears on you. It's terrible. Physically, emotionally, spiritually. All of the above is terrible. terrible. Well, thank you, Terry, for joining us. Um, I love your story. Um, your story, Mouse's story, she's running around like a puppy yes. again. Yes. Um, and, um, and so I just wanted you to join us and, and share your story uh, so that we can help more people find out about this amazing uh, biomass technology and try it for themselves. So thanks guys for tuning in. Appreciate you all. Take care. Thank you. Bye guys.